Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. Have you run into issues with installing ComfyUI on Windows recently? Especially, you know, getting Triton and Sage Attention to work correctly? Well, I just installed Windows on my PC pretty recently because it's what most of you guys use out there. So you're in luck. I'm gonna go through my ComfyUI install on Windows and how I recommend to do it. We'll do a test to make sure it all works and you should have Comfy UI with Triton and Sage Attention installed after that. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel, it helps me create more content. So I am running on a 5090. Any NVIDIA graphics card should work the same way. So let's get into it. A couple prerequisites. So the biggest one of the biggest ones is having Python installed. I'm gonna use Python 3.12. It's the newest one that I feel like is fully stable. There's Python 3.13 out there also, which should probably work, but 3.12 is very stable and I, I like it a lot. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And the other thing is making sure you have your NVIDIA graphics card drivers all set up. The I have 576.8 installed right now. So you can see I'm using the game ready driver. You can also use the studio driver. I actually want to go back and install that in the future here, but right now I'm using the game ready driver. It works. So we're just going to go with that. Um, and if you just install the NVIDIA app, if you're having tr trouble with the drivers, if you just install the NVIDIA app, you'll, it'll just give you a driver to download. It's super easy. All right, so once you have Python 3.12 installed and you have your NVIDIA driver installed, we're ready to go install ComfyUI. So go to the file path that you wanna install ComfyUI in and open up a terminal. So right click, open in terminal. And this is where we're gonna run all of our commands to be able to install ComfyUI. So first thing you're gonna to want to do if you haven't done it already is install git. So if you just go to git, uh, get the git website, I'll link it in the description below. Just go to the downloads and install it for Windows. So this will give you the interface for terminal to be able to install GitHub packages. So once you've done that, go back here and do git clone and then the repo link here so that gives us comfy ui now we need to go down to the instructions here and we're looking for the manual install so i prefer the manual install which is just pure python over doing windows portable or the desktop comfy ui it's just the most, gives you the most freedom and it's the cleanest install. Everything usually works with little issues. So we're at this step here, clone the repo. And here I'll show you in our file system. So now we have this folder, ComfyUI, with all of the files that are necessary to make ComfyUI run. So the next thing we need to do is get our Python virtual environment running. So to in order to create our virtual environment, we have to first do CD comfy UI. That's going to take us from this outside AI projects folder into the comfy UI folder. And then we're going to do Python 3.12 M V E N V V E N V. And that's going to create our virtual environment folder inside our comfy UI folder. All right. So there you can see it pop up and then there are three folders in here. We're going to go inside this scripts folder and we want to hit this activate.ps1. So I am going to navigate to this folder. So we have to step into VEMV and then step into scripts. So CD VENV, CD scripts. And then all we need to do is dot slash activate.ps1. Okay, so there's an execution policy issue here. and it's a pretty easy fix. So there's just a quick execution policy fix we can run. So you can see when we run get execution policy, the policy is restricted. So we just need to run this 
set execution policy dash scope process dash execution policy bypass. All right, sorry, I just increased the size of my terminal font a little bit here so you can see it better. All right, and so we just run that and then that should change our execution policy to bypass and it'll only do it for this terminal. So that helps out with our security. All right, and then we activate again. And now you can see our virtual environment is activated by this VENV that's in front here. Okay, so now we have our repo cloned, we created our virtual environment and next we wanna, so I'm running this on an NVIDIA card. If you're using AMD or Intel, you can follow those directions. Okay, so I'm gonna install this stable version of torch this is for the latest drivers so make sure you're upgrading to the latest drivers this is cuda 12 12.8 this is cuda 12.8 so if you don't have the latest drivers it may not be compatible with cuda 12.8 and same thing as cuda gets more and more updates you know this video this specific part of the video may be slightly outdated if it goes to CUDA 12.9, used CUDA 12.9, so on and so forth. Okay, so this pip is going to use our virtual environment, Python environment, and install Torch. Okay, so that's Torch installed. So now we need to back out to the ComfyUI root. So cd dot dot. So right now we're in the VEMV scripts location inside comfy UI. we just want to back out to comfy UI. so cd dot dot backs out one folder so i did it twice and now we want to install this requirements dot text file so i just did ls which lists all the files within, within the comfy UI folder so i'm going to do pip install dash r requirements dot text so there are all of our comfy requirements installed so now comfy UI would run like this. We would have no problems running it, but we wouldn't be able to use torch compile and we wouldn't be able to use sage attention. So in this description below, there are two links to the Walker do Triton windows fork and the Walker do sage attention wheels. So first one we're going to handle is the walk to do triton windows you have to start with triton windows because in order to compile the sage attention wheel you need to first have triton windows installed okay so all we really need we have all the rest of this pretty much handled okay so first thing we want to do is install this vc redist file so just download that .exe and install that. Okay, and then you'll need to restart your computer at this point. And then from there you can test out the Triton piece. So head to the Triton section after you've done your restart, your PC restart. And all you need to do is uninstall the version of Triton that we just installed with this command. Okay, if we didn't install Triton as part of that last piece. And then copy this command. All right. And that's Triton installed. So there's one more note down here that we can use to test Triton. So let's test if it works. I'm going to just create a, fi a file in here. So new document. Python or Triton tests.py. All right, and then I'm just going to paste that test text in here. All right, and then you can see it worked. All right, so that is our Triton install. And now we just need to do our Sage Attention install. Okay, so all we need to do is go to this see releases for wheels and you can see a bunch of wheels down here so the wheels are basically pre-compiled python packages that you can install into your environment so we need to find the one that works for what we just installed so we installed the cuda 12.h torch 2.7 python 3.12 so that's going to be this one right here if you installed something other than on cuda 12.h Torch 2.7, Python 3.12. So if you use Python or 
if you use Python 3.10 or Python 3.13, or if you have an old driver version, there's also versions going back to CUDA 12.6, CUDA 12.4 if you need them. And same thing, if you're running the nightly version of Torch 2.8, Torch there are also wheels for that too. So like I said, I'm gonna use this one, CUDA 12.8, Torch 2.7.1, Python 3.12. And if you're not sure exactly what you installed, you can run pip list and then look for your torch version. And you can see we're running torch 2.7.1 with CUDA 12.8. And then Python dash version. And you can see we're running Python 3.12. Okay, so let's download that correct file. Just click on it, it downloads and then let's drag it in. And then really easy to install it. All we need to do is pip install sage attention and a little trick for terminal. If you just start typing, so like sage at, sage at, and you hit tab, as long as there's nothing else named similarly, it'll just auto finish for you. So you don't have to type out the whole thing exactly. All right, and then let's install that. Okay, and now that is Triton and Sage Attention installed on Windows and ComfyUI fully installed. One last thing we're gonna do here just for ease of use is install the ComfyUI manager. So Comfy Manager. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna go into the custom nodes folder. This is where you put any custom nodes that you install. And then we're just gonna do git clone that comfy manager file. So that's comfy manager installed. Let's actually install one more thing that I think is useful. Um, it just gives us some like monitoring tools. So Chris tools, I'm just gonna copy those get clone and then I have to install the requirements.txt cd comfy ui chris tools sorry we have to navigate into the chris tools folder first and then we can install the requirements.txt all right and that is installed so now we just need to back out to the comfy ui folder and then now we're ready to run comfy ui so all we need to do is python main.py and the first time you run CompUI, it's gonna take a little bit to initialize everything, but after that, it'll be you'll be good to go. It'll load much faster after the first time running it. All right, and then once you see the server address pop up here, just hold Control, click on that, and there we go. Just to show you that it's working, I'm gonna quickly install a WAN model. Okay, and then we run into this issue with the current security level configuration, only custom nodes from the default channel that can be installed. Okay, so in order to correct that issue, we need to go to the ComfyUI folder, go to the user folder, go to default, ComfyUI manager, and then the config.ini file. You can open it in notepad. Go to the security level and just do weak. This just allows you to download whatever custom nodes you want. So as always, you gotta be careful when installing custom nodes. There could be nefarious software or whatever on them. So always make sure you're checking your own nodes that you install. All right, and then now when we install, we don't get that error anymore. All right, when you install custom nodes, make sure you restart. I have another video on WAN that you can go watch if you wanna see how to set up one. I'm just gonna install this quickly in the background and then I'll come back when. So you can see with Torch Compile and Sage Attention running on Windows, we are all set. So this is a WAN generation that's running with Torch Compile, Sage Attention running, no problem in ComfyUI. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. It helps me create more content for all of you. I hope this helps. I get a lot, of, a lot of questions about installing ComfyUI on Windows. A lot of people out there are using ComfyUI Portable, using ComfyUI Desktop. 
the manual version is the way to go. It's the most flexible, the least buggy, and it gives you the most opportunity to learn and improve your Comfy UI environment as new things come out. If you just use portable or desktop, you're not gonna understand what's going on behind the scenes. And then when major updates come, you're gonna have a hard time making the transition. All right, so follow my other socials, follow me on X, follow me on Patreon. If you wanna give Artificial Studio a try, which is my kind of um, one-click installer for ComfyUI, message me on Discord, I'll give you access to that. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.